Hello everyone, before I get underway with the first Price is Right pricing game recap for this week, I need to correct Maestro Mason 1987 on something that Neil Rock City 7 informed me to do, and that's this. The last time a Chevrolet Corvette was featured in Golden Road was back on the 4th of July of last year. And uh, because I uh, went with that as Maestro Mason 1987's acknowledgement fact and forgot about that Corvette being featured on the 4th of July last year. And also to note that the last time Golden Road was won in the carry era was April 4th, 2008. Part of the Million Dollar Spectacular run with Drew Carey. Alright, now that's been said, here's the disclaimer. for the Price is Right pricing game recap for Monday, February 27, 2012. Today's pricing games played were the following to start the week. Switch, Flip Flop, Pathfinder, Danger Price, Stack the Deck, and Bonkers. The first contestant was Sean, spelled S-H-A-U-N. He played Switch, for an aerial bath, aerial jacuzzi whirlpool bathtub with see-through panel, LCD touchscreen control panel, six different massage modes, and an AM FM radio modeled by Marvelous Manuela, and an Avanti Fitness Cardio Gym 3500 home gym that features superior quality and stylish finish, a great space saving design, and it also featured a recumbent bike and height adjustment pulley system modeled by Ravishing Rachel. Sean chose to keep the prices the way they were and not switch them. So, the bathtub was kept at $3,499 and the home gym was kept at $2,869. Well, when Manuel and Rachel revealed the prices, it turned out that Sean should have switched them. I had a feeling he should have done that. The bathtub was $2,869 and the home gym was $3,499. I, I, I practically knew right away they should have been switched. Well, maybe not right away, but I had a feeling they should have. All right, Sharon, who uh, got a lot of love from Drew Carey on the lips for a kiss, <laughs> played flip-flop for a Lazy Boy Keeper sofa that was with rounded exclamation style, as well as a Charlotte recliner, also from Lazy Boy, and a three-button design Lila or Lila Ottoman, and it also came with a 55-inch Panasonic flat panel plasma HDTV that's Wi-Fi ready and comes with two pairs of 3D glasses. And a 14-ounce popcorn machine that features a stainless steel cart and a force air, a force hot air blower, modeled by Manuel. The wrong price was 7,685. Sharon chose to flip to make the price 6,785. And when Drew revealed the actual retail price, it was $7,658. She should have done the complete opposite and flop. You know, some members of the audience were shouting flop. And you know something? I wish she had listened to them. I, too, also felt it should have been flop. Robert played Pathfinder for a Fiat 500 Pop modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn. Robert stepped on the first number, which was a 1. For the second number, he stepped on the 7 instead of the 4, the 6, and the 5. And he was right, it was the 7. That was a good choice, in my view. Now for the third number, he stepped on the 8 and not the 3 or the 6. It was not the 8, had to go back to the 7. 
he now had to get some help from the do-over prizes that were modeled by Manuela. We had a multicolored confetti background glass vase, a pie maker, and a collapsible cooler. Robert first chose the pie maker. He believed it was $70 and not $100. Manuela revealed the price to be $100. I had a feeling it was that price. So now he went to the glass vase. He believed it was $79 and not $50. Manuela revealed the price to be $50. He got that wrong too, and I also felt that was $50. So now it all came down to the collapsible cooler. After Drew threw it over to Robert to have him take a good look at it, which I think was probably a good thing to do, Robert believed it was $25 and not $40 for that collapsible cooler. And Manuela revealed the price to be $25. He was still alive. Now he stepped on the three and not the six. And it was the three, the third number. So now the last two numbers he had to be perfect on. For the fourth number, he stepped on the four instead of the eight or the two. No, it was not four, and the game was over. The actual retail price was 17326 a very familiar price for a Fiat 500 pop. Aquila played Danger Price for four Sony digital cameras that included a 24.3 megapixel SLR, a 14.2 megapixel SLR with two lenses, and two 16 megapixel Cybershot cameras modeled by Gwendolyn, a Morrison pool table from Golden West Billiards that featured solid construction, a unique modern design, and accessory packages included, also modeled by Gwendolyn. We had a 30 inch electric range from Bosch that had a clean contemporary look and featured quick response elements, intuitive glass covered oven controls and integrated warming drawers modeled by Rachel, and a Dehan MUP8 folding bicycle also modeled by Rachel. Aquila had to avoid the danger price of $4,995. First, she chose the folding bicycle. And Rachel revealed the price by pressing the button to be $699. Next, she chose the cameras. Gwendolyn revealed the price for that prize, and by pressing the button, she found out it was $2,190. For the win, Aquila chose the electric range instead of the pool table. Now, if that electric range was not $4,995, Aquila will win all four prizes. And Rachel pressed the button to reveal the electric range's price. And it was... $1,769! She won all four prizes, including the pool table at $4,995. Grand total of $9,153! NBC 11 News Clips wanted me to acknowledge that this is the third Danger Price win this season. Very cool. And I think Neil Rock 87 probably knew the pool table was the Danger Price. He tells me he's an expert on pool tables, so I'll take his word for it. Paula played Stack the Deck for a Scion XB modeled by Rachel. Manuela was in charge of placing the numbers. For Paula's first chance of winning a free number, she believed the product that cost $6.79 was the Gold Bond body lotion and not the 8.5 ounce canister of Planters cashews. You know, I wish she had chosen those cashews. The Gold Bond was $8.75. Now, in her second attempt at winning a free number, she believed the product that cost $2.19 was the 22.5 ounce bottle of Suave Apple Shampoo and not the 18 ounce jar of Smucker's Goober Grape Spread that also contains peanut butter. Well, this time she was correct. It was the Swab Shampoo. That was 219. And finally, in her third attempt of winning a free number, she believed the product that cost $4.79 
was the 48-ounce bottle of Crisco vegetable oil and not the 16-ounce bottle of Mop and Glow floor cleaner. She was right again. That Crisco vegetable oil was $4.79. Now it was very interesting that she chose her free numbers after the grocery products. Normally, when a free number is, well, when a product is, uh, is identified correctly in price, then the contestant chooses the number for free. That's part of Maestro Mason 1987's acknowledgement section, by the way, for tonight. So, Paula chose these two numbers as her free numbers. The third number, which was a 7, and the fourth number, which was a 5. Now, for the remaining three numbers. She chose 1 for the first number, 8 for the second number, and the fifth and final number, she chose 9 to make the price $18,759. You ask me, I felt the four was the last number. And when Drew revealed the actual retail price of the Scion XP, it was eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty three. Ah, man. I still thought it was four. Damn. Alright, finally, John played bonkers for a trip to San Diego. I believe that's NBC 11 News puts his home territory. Modeled by Gwendolyn. The wrong price was $7,872. When his 30 seconds began, he first went lower, higher, lower, higher. That was not right. Then he went higher, lower, higher, lower. That was not right. He took a little too much time making his changes, so with very little time left, he went all higher. Higher, 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 higher. Wrong, 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 wrong. And just as about he was going to make another change, his time ran out. Drew advises, don't look at the audience when you play bonkers. You got to move real quick. You only have 30 seconds. Well, he was not the best player of bonkers, I'm sorry to say. The actual retail price was $5,146. The correct pattern was lower, 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 higher. So today we only had one pricing game one to start off the week, and that was Danger Price. So I named Akilah the MVP of the Price is Right. But I am giving contestant recognition to Paula for her showcase win that involved a trip to San Francisco for a one-hour aircraft trip to see the sights of the city by the bay. Tandem skydiving in Florida. Pretty cool. And she also won a Bayliner 160 Bowrider 16-foot 2-inch speedboat. That included a 60 horsepower Mercury offboard engine, safety package, and seating for up to five people, trailer included. This week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Smucker's Sweet Orange Marmalade. With a name like Smucker's, it has to be good. At this time, I would like to mention the tape dates of this week's episodes of The Price is Right. Today's episode was taped back on January 19th. Tomorrow, the episode will be taped from January 18th. Wednesday for Leap Day, February 29th, tape date was from January 19th. Thursday's episode was taped from January 18th. And Friday's episode will be taped from January 30th. Another piece of Maestro Mason 1987 acknowledgement section is... Drew is now shaking hands again, I guess with his, uh, with his right hand, with his right shoulder, or hand, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, it's good to hear Drew is healing up nicely. So, join me again tomorrow for the Price is Right Price Game Recap, where I'm 264 Shirt will be scheduled to join me as co-host. So until then, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Oh, and speaking of pets, I actually, yesterday, believe it or not, I got a new puppy. He is a mixed Jack Russell Terrier and a Papillon. A Papillion, 
how it's pronounced. But, um, hopefully sometime this week, I'll introduce the puppy to all of you watching. We named him Fetch. Good night, everybody.